All right, so we are building a clubble. And so what we first did was we bought two 20 by 100 uh, plastic Super Duty Visqueen. Chase is gonna bring the box so you can kind of see it. We accidentally bought black, so make sure you buy clear unless you wanna do a black light dance, because black is great. But, so here we are, it's gonna be dark. But um, make sure you buy the thicker stuff, the, the six milliliters when you're going for it because you want it to be pretty durable, especially if you're sharing it with a couple other clubs. And so we took two of those, the 20 by 100, and we just laid them out side by side and, uh, and spread them out. And then we bought one 10, <laughs> 10 by 100 of the Super Duty 6 milliliter. Praise the Lord that we accidentally bought clear because we didn't pay attention to the color. So we at least can have some light <laughs> in on our clubble. So then what we did was we laid it all out and then we folded it in half. Um, and the reason we did this is because these are, that's our floor and our ceiling that we're taping together. And then these are the walls. And so we need the walls to be four, two strips of 40 foot. And so we measured out that folded in half and then had an extra 10 feet right here. So I'm gonna cut right here to have this extra 10 feet and cut down there. So we'll end up having two walls of 40 foot um, plastic for us to tape on there. Our two pieces of 20 foot and we overlapped them about a foot right here um, and to try to make it nice and even. And then we are gonna duct tape it. How are we gonna duct tape it, Danny? Well, we're gonna duct tape it by taking about about two widths straight down. So you'll like duct tape it once on the middle and then once on both sides. And then every about foot, you'll do a railroad tie across it. So we'll show you the finished product. What are we doing with the duct tape? Well, we're taping the seams down. Oof. There's that. <laughs> so we're doing three wide of duct tape on the seams all the way down <laughs> careful to have one of these bad boys <laughs> what we got here chase so right now we've completed our three strips all the way down one down the center one on each side that pretty much seals uh seals the line what we're doing now is we call railroading uh so it looks like railroad tracks what this does is this just keeps it together so if for some reason you were to get some type of of leak in the seam um, it would at least hold it together still. So we're gonna go ahead and do this all the way down. Uh, it's fastest if you just have one person ripping, the other person placing. Um, okay, so right now we have to tape the underside. And so we are just taking what we've already taped and flipping it directly over. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. All right, so originally we had bought eight rolls of duct tape. And inevitably we have to run to Walmart every time to get more duct tape. So this time I bought six more rolls of duct tape and hopefully that will be enough and we'll let you know um, at the end exactly how many rolls of duct tape that All it right, takes. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna place the side walls. You see one on each side. Uh, it's important to make sure these are exactly the same because you're gonna um, tape that seam and then that's gonna be one seam that's gonna go all the way across the top if that makes sense. So you want that seam across the top to be the same. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure out, you want 10 feet from the end because this is roughly 10 feet. So it's gonna be a 10 foot uh, seam going straight up the side. So now that we measured it and have them even, what are we gonna do? Now we're going to do the same kind of taping on this clear part. So we taped the wall onto the floor double seamed it and then we flipped it in and now we're taping the outside of it. Now that we have everything taped down, we're going to work on our corner. So what are we going to do with this? Yeah, so what we want to do is we want to take that outside edge and we have to tape it along this edge. So we're going to pull this whole corner across so that we get a straight line. It's going to be lined up perfectly. We'll, we'll tape that side and then we'll switch and we'll do the same thing on this side. And then that will bring the entire top, that'll be that wall, that we'll be able to bring that way and then tape the A top seams. Oh. It's going to be a little bit of an ugly corner, but we'll have to we'll fix that.
loops and we're just going to tape right along here. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. It's pretty close. So you see how this here? We're just going to get a little bit of burn. the corner parts of this well yeah so the corner is just going to end up being a little bit ugly because it doesn't overlap you got this extra here so what we're going to do is we're just going to leave this slack here for now we're going to make sure we get a nice seam here and then later we can either trim this or tape that down or do something else but the biggest thing is making sure you get a nice flat even seam what did we just do all right so now because we've taped the top side we basically took the bottom, that inside seam and we've pulled it under and flipped it over so that we can tape the inside of that seam without having to go inside of it. Because once you get it up in the air, it's gonna get hot inside. So we try to do as much as we can before we have to climb inside of it. Yeah, so that's what's gonna get all the tape. Show them how you, how, show them how you tape it, Danny. Come here, Sean. Sean, I'm coming. Make sure you get good volunteers that are willing to work. Because if they're not, you're going to get hot and sweaty and do a lot of the work yourself. Right, Cody? <laughs> okay. So now we're folding our, our um, walls, the white part, in half so that the edges match up against the floor. Because this is now, the, this black part is now the floor. And um, we're doing that on both sides so that we can just tape it easier when we're taping the ceiling. <laughs> okay, so now that we've folded the walls in half so they match up with the floor, we have to fold over the ceiling. And so we're gonna take the remaining part of the tarp that we did not tape the walls onto, and we're gonna pull it all the way over and um, and match them up to the very end here. Great job, guys! So we're gonna pull them over and match them up to the to the walls, so that we can um, fold this part over and make the walls again and everything like that. So now we are matching up all of the ceiling right here with the, with the floor and we're gonna take it over. What are we gonna do? Oh, you switched the camera on, I didn't know I was on camera. So now we have a nice seam there and then we're going to take this edge here because we had 10 feet on the end and it is going to flip all the way up and connect back to here. We're gonna make another corner. Make another corner. Chase, what are we doing now? Alright, so we just got done taping that top seam, and you'll see here this is our leftover there, and then this is the extra side. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold this over one more time, and then this is now going to be the front side edge. We're just going to tape that, and then we will close the gap once that's done. We're going to fold that over and tape along here, and we will have a completed photo. Perfect. So what are you doing now? We're taping the corner. Wow. And then what are you going to do? Tape it twice for extra stability. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> I'm just here. Now we've got that corner done. We've got that far corner done. So now we're just going to pull the whole top. That's going to overlap if you can see this line here. However far you need it to overlap so you get a nice uh, straight seam on both sides. Okay, so what we did is we had it shifted in half, the side wall in half so that we could tape two sides at the same time. But in order to get a visual of what we're trying to look at to make sure we have everything lined up, we took the whole half side and pulled it over so that now we have a full seam. The end of the wall is right here, which means that this much left over, we'll see you got a little bit of excess there. And then this top is going to fold over. The whole thing is going to fold over to this seam here. And we're going to tape all the way along the top to close the button. All right. We're flipping this corner inside out again so we don't have to crawl inside of it to, to reinforce the corners because actually doing the corners are probably the most important part to get right. 
because those things rip pretty easily. So we want to make sure that we get it reinforced and taped in the correct way. What are we doing, Chase? So we did the outside seam. Before we folded it over, we fold the corner inside to again tape that inside seam so we don't have to do it once we get it up in the air. Inside and outside for extra durability. Every time, every time. So we're gonna grab, we're gonna flip it back right side in. So we're gonna go grab that corner and pull it out. And then we're going to, so now we have the side, the back wall. They're folding it back out. And now we're gonna flip it around and start taping the ceiling. Right, we folded it over. Now we're just gonna finish that 10 feet across the roof on both sides and then whatever extra we have, we're then gonna tape all the way across. Okay, so now that we have all of our corners done and everything like that, we tried to line it up the best that we could. So now we can tape the final seam right here all the way down to complete the taping and assembly part of the cobble. All right, so now that we taped the seam, we are going to put our giant gym fan in here. So we rotated it to put it on one of the corners of the sides. And I'm just cutting a hole for the fan all the way to the bottom. And then we'll come through and we'll reinforce it with tape. Otherwise, your slit will just keep going forever and ever. Yep. All right. So we're going to move this fan into here. Once it starts filling up, we can adjust it, and that's when we'll reinforce the edges to make sure it doesn't do anything. Um, we're gonna have to cut a couple slits for air vents so this doesn't literally blow up like a hot air balloon and float away. Make sure you have weights for the corners. Opposite corner, we're going to cut a door in for the students to enter in. down. Amazing. Wow. Maybe a little farther up. Unless we're hobbits. That's 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 You're doing good. Great job. So here's our door to enter in. And then this is what it starts to look like inside. So we're going to head over to our fan. to kind of adjust it a little bit and make sure that it's nicely around. You don't want to put it all the way in because it has to suck the air from the outside in, so you don't want to cover it up with plastic. But here is what it looks like. It's starting to blow up pretty nice. Okay, so here is the fan. It's starting to blow up a little bit more, so here's that. Um, this is kind of what we got going on inside. It's starting to blow up and look like a full bubble. Yay! Um, the key is once this starts to blow up more, you have to cut two air vents. So one will be over here, one will be over here, and then the other side, hole here, hole here. And it just needs to be probably about um, a foot or two to just kind of let more air out. And then you're going to need some pretty heavy duty weights in the four corners. And then um, two by where the sand is and then two by where the entrance is because after this blows up for a bit, this end will start to raise up and we don't wanna take everybody away. And so this is kind of what what it looks like. Are you excited? Yay! Are you gonna, cool. Cool. You gonna have a dance party? Yeah. Cool. It's gonna be awesome. So this is what the clubble looks like on the outside. It hasn't blown up all the way yet, but it is, um, a pretty big thing. 
It's 10 feet, I mean, it's uh, 10 foot high walls and then it usually bubbles up to around 20 feet um, at the very top up there. And then it is basically 40 by 40. So about 200, 250 kids can fit in this bad boy. Um, and we'll have a good, good time. We recommend having dance parties in there. Having, we've had paint wars inside of this to make clean up very, very easy. Um, and then we've done food fights and a variety of things in here. And so there's where the fan is. It needs to be half in and half out because it can suck the air in. But this is it. We also taped open the ventilation holes on the sides just to make it not blow up like crazy. Um, and so yeah, there's our couple everyone. Thank you for tuning in to How to Build a Cobble. I hope this helps. Have a lovely day.